Hey everyone, today's video is going to be all about my morning routine. I typically wake up around 5.15 every morning and quietly walk to the bathroom so I do not wake up my husband. I just wear a t-shirt and some comfy shorts to bed every night and the first thing that I do is of course brush my hair and then I have to take off my glasses and put in my contacts so that I can see. After I have my contacts in, I go into the kitchen and I get out a big cup for water. And of course, as an Auburn fan, all of our big cups are Auburn Stadium Cups, War Eagle. So I always fill one of these up with water first thing in the morning and I drink the whole thing as I'm getting ready to really make sure I start my day off hydrated because I won't be able to go to the bathroom very many times during the day. Hashtag teacher life. Take that water cup in with me and I move to the guest bathroom to do my hair and makeup so I can play my Spotify music out loud without waking up my husband. Then I start my hair and makeup. This is not a makeup tutorial video, but I will show you what I use. So for the base, I use this CoverGirl foundation. And I just kind of put it all over my face, looking a little crazy. And then I use one of those little beauty blenders to kind of blend it out on my face. After that, I put a little bit of powder on. Again, just a drugstore brand. I use the CoverGirl Clean Powder. And I just use that to smooth over my face and set that on the little foundation. Then I use some eyelid primer and some eyeshadow. I use the e.l.f. brand eyelid primer, get it from Target, and I love it so much. And of course, I gotta keep working on that cup of water, can't forget. And then I use my Naked Palette for my eyeshadow. I just have the original Naked Palette. I've had it for years and it's lasted such a long time and I love all the neutral colors in it. Afterwards, I use a little bit of eyeliner on my bottom and top line. And I just use again the CoverGirl little point eyeliner crayon thing. Not a makeup tutorial. Again, another disclaimer. I'm not an expert. But I do love my mascara. This is the Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. Again, another drugstore brand that you could get at Walmart. So I'll put that on my top and my bottom lashes. Then I get ready to start my hair. I usually, when I'm wearing it straight, clip half of it up so I can straighten the underside and then the top side. It's pretty straight naturally on its own and I blow dried it last night so it wouldn't be too wild sleeping on it wet. So I just kind of lightly go over the pieces that I need to straighten and then I let down the top layer and I do the exact same thing. Then finally I kind of give it a good shake and check the back and make sure I didn't miss any major pieces. Again, finish up that water and then head back into the kitchen, this time to get my lunch ready. I meal prep my lunches every Sunday night, so all I have to do that morning is reach in and take out my two containers. And an apple from the bottom drawer. Then I have a packet brand lunch box, which actually has an ice pack built in. So I reach into the freezer and take out my frozen lunchbox. Then I wash my apple so it's ready to be cut and added to my containers. And get ready to pack. So I love to use my apple slicer. I love eating sliced apples. I literally eat one every day. And this is my lunch that I've had every single day this school year, for real. I put turkey slices, cut carrots, and then sliced apples, all in a container. Reduce, reuse, recycle, you know, reusable containers. And then I have a little container of hummus to use with the carrots. Then I get to work on my snack that I eat during my morning planning. This is one of my favorite snacks to make. It's a rice cake with natural peanut butter on top. And then I will add a sliced banana as well. Sometimes I eat this for breakfast and then sometimes I just pack it for a snack, but it's definitely one of my favorite things to eat either for my morning snack or for breakfast. 
So on the days that I take that for snack, I will just pop it into a Tupperware container and add that to the top of my lunchbox. Then every day I take my Nalgene bottle full of water to school, so I go ahead and fill that up while I'm packing my lunch and add that to my backpack. Then I head back into the bedroom to pick out my clothes for the day and get dressed. After I've gotten dressed, I head back into the guest bathroom to put on deodorant, can't forget that. And then I also put on any other accessories like earrings or extra jewelry because I store that in the guest bath. And of course, do any touch-ups that my hair needs before I turn my straightener off. Again, I just use a Walmart brand, Remington Straightener. Love it, I've used it for years. Then I head back into the kitchen to get my breakfast ready. Today I'm having some Cinnamon Chex cereal. I am a cereal fanatic, love cereal. And then I'll eat the rest of that sliced banana that I did not use for my snack that I packed. I always eat my breakfast quietly in the living room, listening to some worship music while I read my Bible and work on whatever Bible study I am currently going through. I spend about 10 to 15 minutes reading my Bible, praying, doing the Bible study, and it's just a great way to set the tone for the day. And I enjoy my breakfast too. Of course, I have to put my dishes in either the sink or the dishwasher. Today, the dishwasher was empty, so dishwasher it is. We're gonna get that bowl put away, and then I finish up my water if I haven't finished it already, and put the cup in the dishwasher as well. 24 ounces down. Then finally, I put on my shoes, so I'm ready to walk out the door, and you can see my completed outfit, teacher tee, cardigan, snake booties, and this cute little necklace with my initial on it. Kind of going casual and comfy today. I finally brush my teeth now that I've had breakfast, so I'll be ready and my breath will be smelling good. I say goodbye to my husband, and then I grab my backpack and my lunchbox, and it is time to head out the door. My morning commute isn't complete without a little bit of Christian radio, and then I'm off. Once I get to school, I take my mask, and I go ahead and get that on, make sure I'm wearing my teacher lanyard with my keys and my classroom doorbell. Then I go ahead and grab my things, and I head on inside. The first thing I do when I get to my room is I put my lunchbox and my backpack down and go ahead and tuck my keys into my front pocket. Then I immediately go turn on my smart board so it can start to boot up. And once it's booted, I open up the three programs that I use every single day so those can start to load. Then I'll go ahead and pick out my morning work for my students and set that out on the back table. And then I use my extra time in the morning to look over plans for my intervention group, for my sight word intervention group, and just review anything or do any extra tasks that I might have. All right, that is basically it for my morning routine from when I wake up all the way to when I get to school. And now I just kind of make sure I finish up my to-do list and create a new to-do list for the day before my students arrive at 7.30. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different, but also something that was requested by some friends over on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Mrs. Allen in first over there. And I post a lot of behind the scenes and other stuff on there. And I'd love to have you join and make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. I post a new video every week and I will see you guys next time.